welcome back. I'm Melinda Bigley, and today I wanted to show you guys how to make a star like that. So let's go, I'm gonna save this just so that I don't forget what I did in the event that I do. Let's go into IQ, and we're gonna go to shapes. We're gonna grab this star right here, and I'm gonna leave that as it is, and now I'm gonna duplicate it, and actually, we're gonna go to Actually, let's go and size that, but let's go rotate. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate that 45 degrees. So that was 50, that's 5% uh, too much or five degrees too much. So now we've got a perfect shape of a star there. I want to, and you can do anything you want as far as what you use as your uh, line properties, but I'm gonna use I'm going to use my, uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to go into my fancy and see what we've got there. And I'm not going to use any of those. I am actually going to go with what I thought I was going to do. I'm going to do a triple stitch on this one. And we're going to go to the dark blue. Now I'm going to go into my colors and we're going to grab the light blue, grab our paint bucket and place that in the center. Now I'm just going to do two other colors here in a gradiating effect here. And we're going to grab one darker blue and place those. Oops. And we've got our star. So let's see how that looks. When you see this in your, um, in your editing feature, you can decide if you would like to change something. So what I what I decided to do on this was to make the actual star kind of the forte here so that you don't see your line properties so much. Your bean stitch or triple stitch, whatever you want to call it, gives you a nice outline, but it doesn't take over. And that's what I kind of like about that um, in that sense. Now, if you want to add, I, I have gotten to the point where I always add that under sewing because I generally don't have any kind of gaps in my in my stitching. If you don't do that, it's not going to place that under sewing underneath any of your uh, satin stitching and you don't have you, you'll end up with potentially having gaps there and then and, and that's okay because you can always use your um, your which which we talked about the other day you can use a pen your um, fabric permanent markers and fill that in, but you really want to get it right in the machine if you possibly can, and that's a big part to it. So you've got your under sewing on, um, and then you can change the density if you would like. That density is only going to go up 10%, but honestly, in something like this, I, I'm fine with that. You need to make sure you stabilize that properly. We're simply doing IQ stuff, so I'm not gonna bother explaining all that stuff when it comes to stabilizing. I've got tons of videos on that, um, so you can check that out otherwise. So that is just another kind of example of what you can do in IQ by using the same shape. Um, something like this, which I'm looking at, I think what I, should have done, what, what I should have done on this is to decrease the size of one of these more than I did um, to give that kind of a, a just a better look as far as aesthetically, but it's still it's still neat looking. It de just depends on what you wanna create. So that is your star for the day. Um, again, you can use any kind of colors you want. That actually would look really neat for Christmas and you could use your Christmas colors uh, or whatever you want. Okay, I hope you guys have a great day. If you haven't joined So Blessed Quilting and Embroidery's Facebook group, please do so. We meet every Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and um, do our lives there. If you haven't joined our Instagram, please do that. It's uh, melinda.bigley.swblsd, I think, something like that. Um, otherwise, you can always hit me up on Facebook and I will direct you toward the Instagram and all that stuff. Have a great day. Please like, share, and subscribe. 
to our YouTube and that way we're able to keep going. We finally got monetized and that enables us to keep going. If you watch, if you're, if, you know, some people could care less about supporting the channel and you know, that's totally up to you guys. If you do want to support the channel, um, watching their ads actually gets us paid. Otherwise we have a, what I guess what's called a super thanks and you can um, donate to that too if you feel so inclined. Have a great day and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.